Hey guys, we have just finished understanding the lock out relay. Uh, we will just uh, go through a closed block circuit, how the closed block circuit is and how it is uh, shown on the later diagram. How closed block circuit is working. Uh, a contact lockout, normally closed contact is provided in the closing path in series. So when the lockout is operated, NC contact will become open and it will cut the DC supply of closing circuit uh, even you are giving the closing command or some relay is giving closing command or after the closer is giving closing command the command can't be executed because DC supply is cut so this is how lockout relay is uh, used in a scheme okay so the same diagram you can see here the two lockouts uh, are in series when lockout will operate this both circuit will become open if there are five lockouts five lockouts contacts you have to put in series it means if any one of the lockout operated the breaker cannot be closed so in, in what happened in the actual situation is uh, sometime uh, you're uh, closing the breaker from control room the breaker will not close so we are telling the operator please go and check is there any lockout operated so he will check it and if uh, some relay has operated it he has to reset it and then you can issue the close command so you can see the close this is a closing circuit this is again the solid dc and it's coming through the relay breaker control relay command will be issued through this relay and lockouts are healthy not operated so the command is at remote if command should be at remote and it will come here then it will be through this it will be this closing coil will be energized and breaker will uh, will be closed so this is how the circuit is okay let's see how the lockouts are implemented in the drawing I have opened the protection panel drawing in RP3 so in this one you can see uh, close CB close block is mentioned here and this CB close block is for E01 plus Q0. Here you can see the closing supply, which is a basically controlling supply for the breaker. It's coming from the LCC and then it's passing through lockout 1, FT6.1, in series with another lockout, 6.2. And then again it's going back to the control panel. It means that controlling. This uh, uh, DC supply is should be through each lockout relay contact and C contact. So any contact operate, it should be able to block the closing. Also, the indication will be available on the control panel if any of the lockout is operated. So operator can check easily, and it should call a protection engineer to come and verify. After verification they can reset the lockout and breaker can be closed so this is the lockout circuit in our drawing thank you